Hazrat Miqdad states, I and my both companions came and by them we have lost our faculty of hearing and sight due to extreme exertion. We would present ourselves to the companions of Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, but no one would accept us. We then entered the presence of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So he sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam took us home. There were three goats there. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Milk them before us. We would milk them and everyone would consume his share and we would set aside the Prophet's share. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam would come at night and salute in the way that it would not awake the asleep and the awake could hear it. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam would then go to the mosque, perform the prayer and then consume the milk. One night the satan came to me when I had consumed the milk of my share and said, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam goes to the helpers and they submit the gifts and other things with them to him. So he does not need this draught of milk. So I went and consumed the milk and when the milk digested in my stomach and I realized that there was no way out left, the satan made me feel shame and said, Woe to you, what have you done? You have consumed the milk of Muhammad's share. Now when he will come, he finding no milk will invoke curse on you and you consequently will perish. Your world as well as hereafter both will get ruined. I had a chador, if I put it on my feet, my head got exposed, and if I put it on my head, my feet got uncovered. I could not sleep, whereas my both companions anhum, were asleep. They did not do what I did. At last, the Prophet came, and he saluted as usual. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam then made for the mosque, performed the prayer therein, came towards the milk, uncovered the vessel, but there was nothing in that. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam then raised his head towards the sky. I said to myself, Now he sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam will invoke meditation for me, and I will perish. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, O Allah jalla jalaluhu, feed him whoever feeds me, and give drink to him who serves drink to me. Hearing it, I tied the cheddar tight and taking the knife set out to slaughter any fat and any goat for Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. I beheld that her teats were full of milk, rather the teats of all nanny goats were full of milk. I took that of the vessels of Hazrat Muhammad's family in which they used to milk and consume the milk. I then milked the goat in it until it brimmed with froth. I then came to Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Had you consumed the milk of your share at night, I submitted, O Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, you may consume it. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam consumed the milk and then gave it to me. I submitted, O Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, you may consume it. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam consumed the milk and then again gave it the remaining to me. When I knew that he sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam had got satiated and I had got his blessing, I burst into laughter and was beside myself with laughing. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam whereupon said, O Miqdad, it is an ill habit of you. I submitted, O Allah's apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, this thing happened to me and I did so. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, that milk was only the blessing of Allah jalla jalaluhu. Why had you not told me then? I would have awakened your two other companions, so that they could also get a share of that blessing. I submitted, By him who sent you with truth, when you have consumed this milk and after you, I have drunk the milk. Now I do not care whether someone consume it or not. Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 5330